Welcome back to another Let's Draw with me, Illus Jason. Uh, and today we are going to draw Stewie from Family Guy. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what we'll do, change a few of these uh, settings. Uh, have a nice grey on this background layer first. Um, and we'll start with his head. We'll draw some weird rugby shaped ball. Rugby ball shaped head. Some little circles for the ears. A triangular shape for the nose. A couple of circles for the eyes. Mouth and eyebrows. A little bit of hair there. Okay, and then we draw like a kind of. Looks like a carrier bag type thing. With some uh, arms and hands. And. Scribble in a couple of legs and the feet, and there we go. Maybe a little pouchy thing, Just little dungarees. Um, okay, so then we go on to the next layer, which is going to be a uh, more detailed layer. Um, it's basically just cleaning it up again. Um, maybe take down the, Get a bit lighter than that grey so we can actually see our lines on this detail layer. Uh, so we'll go over again, tidying up the lines, little details on the ears. There we go, and carry on with the circles again. For Nope, don't like that either. There we go, and another circle, put the, the eyelid in, and the, the eyebrows and the hair. There we go. Um, do, do, do. Where am I? Okay. Some buttons on his, on his dungaree things and uh, draw his belly in. Uh, we need to draw the arms in. Just just roughly going over the lines that we've uh, already uh, already done really. Um, we'll draw the let's go over the arms a little bit. Hands, and I, I don't really like the the rough, the rough sketch underneath. So we're gonna change that up a little bit. Um, we could go into the the layer and change it again, but we we'll just do it just in this detail there. Draw his legs a little shorter, and his his feet gives it a bit of a perspective, like you're looking down on him. And then he's just giving you those those evil eyes. Okay. Uh, now on the back on the, uh, the sketchy layer. Now we we'll draw his Teddy in. His Teddy Rupert. All right. Other than than Brian, it seems to be his uh, his best friend. So. And maybe more. Who knows. Okay, so we we put him on a another layer just in case we don't like the way he's looking. What if we want to just take him out of the picture? It's quite easy to do so then. So back on the the detail and uh, we just go over these these lines. Put his mouth in. Some eyes. Uh, I don't like the where I put those eyes in. I have little, little beady eyes, so there we go. And there you go. This is head and his arm. Uh, what's next? Let's have a look at some colour maybe. Okay. Try and get a, a stewy kind of colour maybe. So 
know if we go fill in his face and his eye. Uh, nope, his hands. It seems to be. Ah, there we go. Should be able to uh, fill it now. There we go, that's a better shade for him. Put the eyes, some white in the eyes and that on black on the pupils. And we need a red for his dungarees and then yellowy colour for his top underneath. And we will put some shoe colour on. Maybe a blue. Oh, your gaps in our, our line work. There we go, and a goldy colour there. Okay, and now on to Rupert. Brown colour, oh, gaps in our line work again. Uh, can't see any gaps. Where are they? Come on, Mr. Gap. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I see where I've done. There we go. I was filling in the wrong layer. He's on another layer, isn't he? There we go. We're covering, colouring all his, uh, Mr. Rupert there. Nice brown colour. Okay. Go give him a background. Nice. Now then we'll select this layer, duplicate it, duplicate it. There we go, duplicate that layer. Now we'll select the areas and this is gonna look a bit weird and a bit creepy. But we're just going to fill in all these areas that we want a bit of shade in. We fill them in with like a really dark black. And uh, I don't know, it looks a bit. doesn't look that great at the moment, but we'll, we'll carry on. Let's we'll stick it out. Um, there we go, fill in those shadows areas. Do the same on his body as well. All the areas I want to kind of fill. And I can just be messy with it and just scribble all over the place and it won't go out of line. So there we go. And just put all the really dark shadows in there. It will look better, hopefully. There we go, a bit of shadow there. And there. Uh, a bit from his round head there. And a bit more, there we go. Okay, that looks okay. Uh, missed his leg there. Okay, and what we'll do is take the opacity of the, the layer down and watch what happens. Here we go. Some nice shadows. It looks a bit better than it, it did just now. Um, so, yeah, now we'll go on to take it back up and we'll go back to go on to Rupert and we will do the same on him. So, there we go. The shadows. There you go, great stuff. Do -do. And that looks okay. And yeah, we'll put some shadow on the floor. There we go, just, just be messy with it. Shadows are not perfect, are they? There you go. Gives a bit of gravity then, you 
you know, it looks like it's a solid object, you know, whatever you have your drawing if you put a shadow in the bottom. Um, there we go, I'll put new range layers, take the opacity down, there we go, nice shadow there. And do the same with Stewie shadows. And again with Rupert shadows. There we go. It's not looking too bad. Uh, but just in case, we'll have to put a name in. There we go. Use that. Alright, we we'll do another text layer so we can have it. There we go. Stewie Griffin from Family Guy. And there we go. There's the finished, finished drawing. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video of me just doodling. Uh, and if you did like it, uh, don't forget to like it and subscribe and share with all your buddies. Um, uh, if, you, if you think I can't draw, uh, also leave me a comment and tell me how to improve. And I will... See you next time. Thank you very much.